Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So guys, I went to my local pet shop yesterday and bought a tub of brown crickets. Unfortunately, they didn't have any black ones, so I don't mind brown crickets. Um, I feel that black crickets do, you know, live a lot longer, but uh, hopefully these won't uh, last long in this tub because they'll all be eaten. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be feeding more scorpions today so let's get started so guys first up is my female Parabuthus transvelicus here goes let's just take that out yeah, it can be very hit and miss with scorpions you can feed them one time and then three months later they're not interested <laughs> so it can be uh a little bit of a pain trying to feed scorpions. Uh, like I always say, you can't make them. You can't make them eat if they don't want to. So let's just touch the cricket. It's not going where I want it to go. Give that cricket a little touch. Yep, yeah, there we go. And there is the first attack, guys. So if that was a superworm or a dubia roach, then the scorpion will probably walk away. They do seem to uh, like crickets a lot more. Fantastic way to start the video. So guys, next up is my Lyrius Nagerie, very, very similar to the Deathstalker. I thought I'd tongue the feed this one because this one can be a little bit um, temperamental. But let's see what happens. Oh, there's a little bit slow off the mark there. Just try again. This cricket is on the left hand side. Here it comes. Yeah. This one does run away a lot. But, um, but I'll keep trying. So if it doesn't take it down, I'll leave it in there, you know, for about an hour or so. And uh, when it's nice and dark, the scorpion might take its food. No. Well, I'll leave it in there, guys, and uh, let's go on to the next one. Next up, guys, is my male Parabuthus philatus orange morph. Here it goes. Oh, another scorpion that's a little, a little bit not interested. That's going to be one of them feeding videos, guys. It's not going where I want it to. No, another scorpion that's not interested. So, yeah, with these scorpions, you know, I haven't fed them for like two, two and a half months, and they just don't seem interested. So, I'll um, put some water in the water dish. Let's go on to the next one. Next up, guys, is my hot and tutter Flavidulus. This is better tongue feeding because you know where the scorpion's going to strike. And it's 
where the tongues are. So I'll just let it go to see if it decides to grab it on its own. Not many scorpions are hungry today, guys. I do apologise, but uh, unfortunately that's just the way it goes. Just give that cricket a little touch. No. I think the scorpion's interested, guys. Beautiful species, eh? Beautiful tail. So I'll leave it in there, like I said earlier. Just I'll leave it in there for about an hour or so, and uh, let's go on to the next one. Next up, guys, is my female Antrodactinus garzoni. Let's see if she's hungry. Oh, look at that tail. She's an absolutely stunning scorpion. My friend said it was a female, but looking at the actual claws, it does look male to me. The claws do, do look very thick and short. I do promise you guys that is an actual brown cricket, not black. <laughs> No. Oh dear. Crazy guys. I haven't fed my scorpions for two months, three months, and none of them are hungry. <laughs> That's one out of five. Not a good start, but oh. But we'll we'll leave it in there, guys, and um, I'll come back to it a bit a little bit later. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is my hot and totter dry curry. Oh, there we go. Yay, we got an attack. These scorpions are a little bit uh, difficult to film because they're in smaller enclosures, so I have to turn my camera to the side. But uh, yeah, they seem to take their food a lot better when they're inside their hide. It's a lot more darker for them. But yeah, second attack, guys. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is everybody's favourite. This is my Israeli large clawed scorpion. So let's just take the, the hide out. And uh, always use your tongs, guys, messing with these kind of scorpions. You don't really want to get stung by any of these scorpions. It's uh, not a pleasant surprise, so I've been told. So let's just put the cricket in. Let's just move this a little bit closer for you guys. There we go. Beautiful scorpion. This one is about a venom level three. You can see that the claws are very, very thick. So this species do use its claws to attack its prey. So sometimes it does use its stinger, but uh, not very often. I believe that this one is a male. Uh, looks like the the cricket is taking a ride on <laughs> the scorpion. Let's just oh, it's jumping around a little bit. seems interested it's just trying to find where the cricket actually is yeah oh no a little bit of hit and miss with this one guys so let's go on to the next one so guys next up is my hot and tutter Franz Wernery and the cricket is just you just see the cricket there This doesn't seem in, seem interesting, guys. Let's 
give that a quick hit one last touch and then and, uh, we'll leave it in there guys and uh, I'll come back to it so let's go on to the next one so guys next up is my hot and tutter Sally this is a male yeah he's definitely hungry A very long sting. There we go. Oh, it looks like he's got uh, part of the the leg as well <laughs> in one of his claws. Uh, another scorpion that doesn't eat very much, really. If you've been watching my videos for a while, guys, I did have a female, but unfortunately, um, she sadly passed away after pairing this male up um, if you didn't know scorpions actually give uh, birth live they don't uh, lay eggs and she laid the eggs which means that she rejected the babies and uh, yeah a couple of weeks later unfortunately she sadly passed away no idea why I think it might have been that um, she might have been old but that's the only conclusion I can come up with but uh, yeah beautiful scorpion I don't know what he's doing. Looks like he's break dancing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll leave him to it. And uh, let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is my female black death stalker, Lyrius Jordanius. Let's see if she's hungry. Oh yes, she was. Oh, that was a fantastic takedown. Uh, she's not very big, around about two and a half inch, nearly three inch mark. I've been told that these can get fairly big. But yeah, another attack goal. It's not doing too bad. Could do with a few more attacks, but uh, yeah, scorpions can very be very unpredictable. So yeah, I'll leave her alone now, guys, and let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is my hot and tutter Ganetti. Very, very small scorpion. It's the We'll just leave it there. I think the cricket has actually died, but I'm hoping that the scorpion might grab it off camera. It's the smallest scorpion I've got. It's only around about the inch mark. Yeah, we'll leave it there, guys, and uh, let's go on to the next one. So, guys, last but not least, this is my Antrodoxinus Louis Villa. Let's just get this quick in. Hopefully, we'll get a nice attack. Yeah. Oh, look at that tail. To be fair, this one does have a very, very good appetite. It's very good with crickets because their bodies are very, very soft. So very easy for the scorpion to sting its prey and I'm just looking guys that one I've just fed the Ganetti it's walked towards its uh, meal and now it's eating I'll show you in a minute guys another sting fantastic video to finish off this video I should say so yeah Look at that tail. Oh my god. Beautiful species. These ones get to around about the three to four inch mark, so they are fairly big. But uh, this male should feed this beautiful girl for a while. So like I said guys, I'll leave this one alone now and uh, let's see if that Ganetti is eating its meal. Oh, another sting. And there we go, three stings guys. Or leave the scorpion alone.
And there we go, guys. There is the Ganetti. It just walked around its enclosure, went towards the cricket, and uh, just grabbed it on its own when it was uh, ready. Now it's decided to <laughs> let its meal go. There's the cricket just there, and the scorpions decided to uh, walk off. Like always, so guys, they're not they're not that keen on the light, which you can't really. Uh, blame them but uh, yeah i'll leave this scorpion to it so i hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen and thanks for watching everyone